Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. Today I want to show you how to enjoy custom home environments on your Quest headset. So instead of the default options available such as the Space Station or the Winter's Lodge, you can go a little more personable and have a Minecraft setting. Create a custom environment where it's your own bedroom. There are so many available and I'm going to show you how to create your own as well. And with a super sweet social feature coming soon where you can bring your friends into your home environment, this is going to be more exciting than ever. So as I said, I will show you a more complex way to create these environments that will make them more personable, but I'm also going to show you how to install environments that people have already made. We are going to go environment crazy! So enough chin wagging, let's get started. So let's start off talking about side quest home environments because there are a lot of them and some really fantastic ones. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that side quest is set up. If it's not, I will link it down below for you to do that. If you haven't done it, there is just an entire world out there of additional content, so I can't recommend it enough. So once that's set up, plug your quest into the computer or your mobile phone and open up side quest. This is super simple. So now all you have to do is go to something called custom homes in side quest and you have hundreds of custom environments that you can put into your own oculus headset so we have the rick and morty here peaches castle star wars bob's burgers i love bob's burgers let's do that one let's click bob's burgers and you have a download thing here and if you click the arrow it says download classic home download classic home silent download cyber city download cyber city silent and what this is referring to is the default homes that you have in the oculus quest headset because if you're doing this via side quest i'll show you how to do it a different way in a minute where you can create your own custom ones but if you're doing it via side quest it has to replace an existing environment in order for it to exist because it doesn't create a new card so when you install this on Classic Home, when you go to Virtual Environment, you'd select Classic Home and you'd have Bob's Burgers. So simply just click Download Classic Home, click it again, it'll give you a prompt and you click Continue and SideQuest will install it. Just wait for that to finish. And it's as easy as that. If you get an error pop up while you're doing this, I can't recreate the problem, but if you do get an error pop up, try deleting the environment that you're trying to replace first. If you've got Classic Home installed, and then you're trying to install something to Classic Home, delete it first via the headset and then come and install it. You can do that by going to Settings within your Oculus Quest headset, click Virtual Environments in the drop down, and then remove everything there that's installed. That's it, it's that easy. How cool is that? I love it. It just makes the whole experience a bit more personal, a bit more custom. I love that. I think it's brilliant. And now we're going to move on to three more complex ways for you to create your own environment and bring in external ones. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own home environment with a 360 photo plus other elements if you want to go crazy. So for this, you're going to need a 360 image or a panorama image to make your own environment. The easiest way to do this is to take a 360 photo and after much searching and many apps, <laughs> I, was, I tried so many, the best one I found was Google Streets View because it lets you take a photo sphere instead of just a panoramic picture, which gets stretched later on and it has a much higher quality. So download the Street View application on your phone and then open it. You then want to click the icon in the bottom right corner and select Take Photo Sphere. When taking Photosphere, it's best to use something that's going to be stable. If you have a tripod available, I definitely recommend using it because it will stabilize as you're rotating around, taking images of each of the dots that it pops up. Because if you end up moving slightly in those three dimensions, it can affect the overall finish. Once completed, Google will start making adjustments to blend each of the images taken. But once that's complete, you can publish this privately. So you go to menu, gallery, private, and tap to the 360 shot you've just taken, hit the download icon, and then share it to yourself privately. I put it to Google Drive because I can just easily download it on my computer. You basically just want to use any method you can to get it from your phone onto your PC. So now we want to install our own custom environments. You may have seen the video 
that I put on where I was in this room that I'm filming in now, and then I pulled the Quest away from the camera and I was in my living room. That's because I set this room to be an Oculus home environment, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you can also customize it further if you want some crazier things in your home. So what you want to do is first download a bunch of things, and I'll have links down below in the description if you need them. So simply go to Google or the links down below in the description and search Blender. So click download Blender and download Blender 3.0. While that's downloading, you want to go to the Oculus Home Discord channel. And when you're on the Discord channel, I'll link it down below in the description, you want to go to environment tools underneath create your own environment. So select environment tools and you want to download the latest startup project, which is here, startup blend. And you also want to download the Quest Home Environment Converter Builder. You can choose the normal version, but you have to have uh, Java installed. You also have a version that includes the Java and you also have the executable. I recommend just choosing the Java version in case you have incompatible versions installed on the computer and you don't have to worry about it then either as well. So you simply click that link and download it. Okay, so the files that we have now that we want to mess around with is we have our Photosphere image, we have our startup project, we have the Blender application installed, and we also have the Environment Converter Builder version 2.0. So double click the Blender installer and follow all of the steps to install Blender. You then also want to right click and extract the Builder Converter program application. Now boot up startup. Here you can see the kind of the the editor window. In the top right corner, you can uh, move this around if you want to get a different angle. But this is where you are going to create your own custom environment. And this is, it's pretty simple now that we've got the Photosphere image. So the first thing you want to do is on the top right corner, uncheck this so it gets rid of all these other elements that you don't want to include in your home environment. Then click the skybox under the GLTF export and then scroll down on the menu on the right and look for base color where it says base color image texture and select open underneath it. You're going to select an image you want the skybox texture to be. So select open, go to the file location where you've got that photosphere image or the panorama image, whatever it is that you've used and select photosphere image. Open image. And here you can see we're uh, we're in <laughs> we're in my room. If I look at this angle here, you can see this behind me. Now what you want to do is to go to File in the top left corner, Export, and choose GITF 2.0. Once you've selected that, you want the file location where it's going to be saved within the Converter Application Build folder. So in the extracted Converter Builder application that you've just downloaded. Keep going down directories until you get to the build folder, then open up build. Give the file a name, I've called it Steve's home, and change the format here on the right side to GITF separate. Then click export GITF 2.0. Now if we go to the build directory, of which we've just exported to, we will have the files that are required for us to create this environment. Now you want to open the Environment Converter Executable, the application. Click Start. OK. It's going to give you this amazing tool that the amazing community in the Oculus Home Discord have created. And there's a few things you can do here, and I'm going to show you a few methods. But what you want to do is open this application and it automatically detects the files that are available to create an environment within the build directory. If you create a new environment, please clear the build directory first, otherwise you'll run into some problems. So you can see Steve's, Steve Homes, which is what I've called it. And all I have to do now, because my quest is plugged in, is click build and install environment. This will create a new card in the virtual environment section. It will not overwrite what currently exists there. So click build and install environment and you sit back and wait for it to complete. Done, that was really quick, fantastic. 
So that's one way to do it. I now have that available as a custom environment. But there are some other ways. If you have a panoramic image, perhaps, and you want a really quick way to install this on the headset, instead of using Blender, where Blender, you can add more customization options, like you can stick a TV. I did a, I did a television with a Grand Theft Auto trailer playing in the background that was within my home environment. So you can go crazy there. But if you simply want to just convert a photosphere or a panoramic image into a home environment, you don't have to bother with any of that. All you have to do is have that image, open up this tool, and click Panorama Builder. It's going to ask you to delete the build folder because it needs it to be empty, so just, just, just click yes. And what you want to do is go to your panoramic image that you've got available and drag and drop into the application. You then want to choose the center point of the app and then select build panorama. If you have audio that you want to include in this environment as well, like you have a favorite song that you want to boot up as background music in your home environment, simply take that music and drag and drop it here as well and the audio section will be populated. Then all you have to do is click build panorama. Accept. Sit back and wait. Fantastic, done. That is now available for you to use on your Quest headset as a home environment. But perhaps you want to use a custom environment that's available not on SideQuest. Someone's created it and they've put it on the Oculus Home Discord channel. What you want to do now is go to the Oculus Home Discord, go to Quest Home Environment section, and there are tons here for you to download. Simply look around, find one that you like. The Dragon Ball Temple sounds good. Click the link to download it. Choose the APK that you wish to overwrite an existing card, such as, I'm gonna choose Space Station, download it, open up where you've just downloaded that APK and simply drag and drop it into this application. Once you've done the drag and drop, simply press convert and install new environment. But all we're going to do now is press convert and install new environment, build panorama and just sit back and wait. There we go. It's now available for us to use in our headset. We may need to restart the headset, but that is how you install an APK from an external source on the headset as a home environment, create your own custom environments, either with a photosphere image or in Blender if you want to go completely crazy and create something really interesting, or via SideQuest. So there are all the tools there. That's everything you need to get started, get creative and go nuts, make something fun, make something personal. And let me know down below if you have any additional tips and tricks around this, any useful sites people can enjoy, such as model sites they can bring into Blender so they can add that to their home environment as well. And I'll link the Quest Home Discord down below because a massive thank you to them for their effort in creating these tools and creating this community. You've done a fantastic, fantastic job. So have a great week, guys. Please subscribe to the channel so hopefully I will see you next time. Happy gaming. Good day.